It may look like a scene from the Gloucester Road in Bristol, but this is Spain. And those aren't all Bristol Rovers football shirts. Look closely and you'll see another badge on the chest. C.E. Sabadell, whose kit is almost exactly the same. A few years ago, a Rovers fan on holiday in Barcelona spotted several locals wearing the famous blue and white courses and thought for a moment his team had become a big hit on the continent. From that day, a friendship was made. A handful of gas heads even travelled across to watch a match. Tonight, there's a few more than that. They said up to 800 might be coming. Um, we, we heard stories about fans flying in from Seattle, from Greece, from Toulouse in France. And this growing relationship between the clubs isn't just for the fans. We've already discussed with them the potential of maybe one or two of our young players coming out here to, uh, to maybe play a season or half a season with them. Uh, that's, that's exciting. Um, it certainly would be a great experience and a great cultural experience for young players. This isn't the first time clubs have been linked by their kit. In 1903, Juventus of Italy adopted black and white stripes inspired by Notts County. In 1961, Leeds changed their shirts from blue and yellow to plain white, so they looked like Spanish giants Real Madrid. The blue and white quarters weren't copied by either club. It's just coincidence and a reason to be friends. I mean, they inundated us with pennants and plaques when they came to see us. Uh, we reciprocated by bringing something for them tonight, which we'll give them. Uh, they've been incredibly hospitable. We had dinner with the president on Sunday evening. Uh, we can't fault their, uh, their hospitality. And now both sets of fans sing this famous anthem. Although it might be more Buenas noches, Irene, tonight. Andy Howard, BBC Points West.